Uh, fits the usual. Yep. That'll be... Let's see. $300? Tell you what. So right off the bat, you must be thinking, what the fuck am I even doing? I got a lot to go for here, but I promise I will try as best as I possibly can to make this all a breeze. When I did the video on Squidbillies, it was very important for me to include 12 ounce mouse as part of that show's history. And I didn't even get to touch on that aspect as much as I wanted to either. You know, like how Squidbillies and 12 ounce mouse and Perfect Air Forever were at the time these three new shows that Dave and Matt were doing within the Space Coast family tree on top of crunching for Aqua Teen Hunger Force and the uh, theatrical release of Aqua Teen Hunger Force, you know? L little stuff like that. And I dumbed it down before by saying 12 Ounce Mouse would be the show that would fearlessly shit the bed or whatever I said. But that doesn't even nearly describe the sheer amazement I had with it back in 2005. I can tell you from that time, it was one of the most interesting things I had ever seen in my entire life. Full stop. There were multiple times where I had to question how this could even air on television. And it was good. It really boils down to the way the show looked on top of the overall delivery and presentation. I sent you out to pick up a client and take him to a meeting. Yes. Yes, sir. Instead of that, you took him to a porno set where he starred in his very first porno. Then you blew him up. Wrong. That didn't happen. Then... You robbed a bank. Robbed a bank? Threw up on a woman. What? And sang to the police. That didn't happen. I didn't do that. Huh. So what did you do? I did exactly what I wanted to do. Which was what? Again? All things. A-L-L. -L. And just my opinion, but this show could not have released at any better time to release 12 ounce mouse and squidbillies to this overall super critical and nerdy crowd and be like, hey, we don't give a shit. And I certainly enjoyed it. Other people enjoyed it. Most people just complained, but uh, Adult Swim was backing it pretty well during the first season of the show. I remember I was promised a 20 episode second season of 12 ounce mouse. And then that was reduced to a, what, like, 13 episodes? Yeah, and I did not learn until 2020, whenever we had the big return, that uh, season two wasn't even meant to happen at all. Like, uh, th this was a show that got its second season renewed by accident by the line producer, AKA Golden Joe. Man, I'm so far out, I'm crunk as a mug up in this joint, man. And as abrupt as the actual return of 12 ounce mouse was, it still would have been way more probable if Jesus Christ actually existed and walked up to me just to prove me wrong. Before the return, all I had of 12 ounce mouse was just what I taped on TV and the complete series DVD, which Matt Malero directed the whole thing into a movie. Uh, some of my friends and some of my acquaintances are on this DVD with their fan art. I still have mine after all these years. I'm too afraid to play it because I don't want to wear down the disc at all. And uh, I bought another one and then I gave it away. Just beware, they're very stupidly expensive. You know how Brock Show used to have like that whole sitcom jingle jangle for a bit and then they decided just to be, you know, as crazy and random as Aqua Teen? It's interesting with 12 Ounce Mouse because when it started, it kind of makes you think it's going to go into the same route as Aqua Teen. But it also maintained this unique field of its own fairly quickly. And not just with the surrealism and the horror and the mystery that would be shown throughout the series. The careless use of timing is without a doubt what makes the humor of 12 Ounce Mouse so endearing. 
dude. And with that, I can say... Out of my way, I'm drunk as hell. I blow your ass away like ring in the bell. Pedal to the floor and the whiskey's a flowing. I got a porn sheet, I gotta get going. You don't understand, you don't give a damn. Twelve ounce mouse, twelve ounce mouse. Skillet, here's the bowl, now fill it. What do you mean, sharks listening? Far out. This is a postmodern commentary on postmodernism. It's saying that postmodernism is an excuse for lazy people to be pretentious in their laziness and lack of skill. Heroes in adult cartoons are almost entirely sociopaths. By making Mouse a sociopath, what are you trying to say about sociopathic heroes? Seriously, this is just point for point repetition. You ever see that painting, This Is Not a Pipe? I feel like this is saying, This is not a hero. No shit! In the painting, it was a logical trick that you were supposed to think through. Here, it's stating the fucking obvious!